everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm just finishing up this last little triangle here in the stone wall. I wanted to do kind of a detail of this because there have been some questions about uh, sort of, uh, you know, some of the process here, and I wanted to just kind of go over it again uh, and uh, let you guys know kind of what I've been doing for this the whole time. The first thing is that the mortar mix that I'm using, it's a type S mortar mix used for stucco, but I add kind of a dash of Portland cement into that, uh, maybe a ratio of, I don't know, like 15 to 1, 15 parts. Uh, uh, type S mortar with one part Portland. You know, I just kind of dash it in on the top and the uh, Portland cement gives it a little bit more uh, strength, you know, more resistance to kind of like chipping out later on. So I mix that up, I do it in small batches and uh, the first step I do when I get to the wall, uh, well first is that I spray the wall down to get everything nice and moist from yesterday's work. Uh, you know, because you don't want to have dry stone, they're going to be sucking the moisture out of the, the mortar. And I put a little shovel up here and just kind of jiggle it to get it to, uh, to drop the, the cement off. And I'm using this little uh, trowel to uh, take it and push it up into the, the lath in the back. Because I really want a lot of grab in the back there. There had been some concern that uh, perhaps uh, doing it in stages like this uh, you know, might result in there being you know, cleavage points and break points. Uh, you know, that might be true, but this is the exact same process that I used at the last homestead uh, on the wall back there that was under the stairs. It was pretty close to the washing machine, which really kind of shook the house when it ran. And I never had any kind of an issue at all. Now, the fact that I didn't have an issue doesn't mean that an issue is not possible. Uh, this is kind of a small stone wall. This one's only about my height. The one at the other house was a little bit taller, uh, but still it's not like a two-story tall stone wall. So, uh, you know, if you were going to do a larger application, maybe that would be a concern. I haven't found it's a concern in uh, my experience, but again, that doesn't mean that it's not possible. But what I do try to do to make it so that uh, these thing, the, each run bonds to the uh, next is that I leave the top kind of rough. Oftentimes I'll put the stones in and I won't completely fill in behind. So next time when I'm putting mortar in, it's kind of grabbing the backs of those stones. So they're kind of interlocking as they go up. And again, really trying to push the mortar into the... Uh, into the lath in the back there. The stone I'm gonna be putting in first is this one, and I pre-position these guys, so like pre-check to make sure that they fit. This one's gonna go right here. On the back here, I'm gonna take it, get a little bit of cement in there, and I'm kinda of like just stewing it around inside the, uh, the concrete here so that it'll uh, stick to it. If this was uh, one of the lower courses, I can kinda of drop cement in from the top, but I'm kind of getting to the end of where I can do that, so I'm putting a glop on the back here and pushing it into place like so. It actually locked right in. Yeah, I don't want it to lock right in because I want to be able to jiggle it a little bit. Okay, that seems pretty good. Now I'm going to take the trowel in the back and just make sure that the, the, the concrete that was on the back of this thing remains on the back of it so you got good connectivity. Now up at the top I'm not worried if there's like you know, some places where it's not totally grabbing, because there's not a lot of, um, you know, load grabbing up here. It's, you know, more, more the lower stuff. This stuff is just kind of holding what's on top here, but still trying to do the best I can to make sure that everything is joined. And just taking this concrete, agitating it so that it sticks to the bottom edge of this stone and the top edge of the last stone, which I, as you saw, uh, was pre-moistening earlier. Actually, I didn't, I didn't, you didn't see me pre-moisten it. I said that I pre-moistened it. And you can take my word for it. <laughs> All right. And just kind of mushing everything in there. Uh, additional to that, uh, I've got gravel here. And I've been just taking gravel and kind of mushing it into... Whoop, mushing it into the, uh, the mortar here. That uh, makes it so that the mortar uh, gets extended further. Because i you know only got so much of it. And also, it strengthens it up, having the rocks in there. So I'm going to take these guys and kind of tucking them up around there, kind of throwing them, throwing them in the back and uh, getting them all up in there. So that's the process that I've been doing. The next stone that's going to go in is this one. This is a pretty thin stone, so there's going to be a lot of concrete behind it there, which I'm going to fill in with a lot of that gravel. So that's the process on this. Uh